in being needing to quote unquote function in the city, I found I, I accumulated over time more and more toughness, I would have to say, in my heart, and just being able to have to function and, and, and learning. And, and honestly, um, also feeling alienated at times because of a lot of the aggressiveness and just how wide the city was. And it wasn't until I found spiritual relationships, people that were spiritually driven and able and wanting to live by spiritual principles that I actually felt like I could live here. Because before that, it just was too much. It was too, like what Shanti was talking about, the billboards is like just the tip of the iceberg. It's like everything. And, and learning that there were just, well, we all know it would be redundant to say what the qualities of kindness are. Um, generosity, caring, compassion, listening. But, but where sort of the rubber hits the road is what happens when we're not feeling kind. <laughs> like in a relationship and what happens let's say there's a co-worker who's not kind or what happens if we're in a spiritual community um, like Ananda and I will have to, I will say truthfully that Ananda I have never seen and I'm, I'm not I may sound like um, you know a nut or whatever but I have never ever encountered so many kind truly kind loving souls and that doesn't mean everybody's perfect and this and that, but it's like, but the level of kindness and respect is unmatched, at least in my experience. And there are a couple principles Swami Kriyananda said are hallmarks of Ananda. In fact, he said kindness is the real message of Ananda. It's kindness and is the higher teaching, he said, or one of the higher teachings of yoga, ahimsa, non-injury. One of the principles is people are more important than things. People are more important than projects. And, and also, he said, where there is dharma, there is victory. Where there is right action, there is victory. And take it from me, I have found in my own experience over time, being in a committed relationship with Willie, it's been, well, we did our first commitment ceremony in, in 2000, that was before, um, and that it was a legal marriage, but we, we may are committed. And, um, and before that, we were seeing each other in the early 90s, but there's been a lot. Being in the late 20s is very different than being in the mid 50s. And the, but the dharma, the things that you can get away with in your 20s, you can't get away with in the 50s. <laughs> little things pile up over time. And like little reactive things or things that are not that nice or a little sarcastic or snarky, you kind of get they can kind of you can kind of get away with it. Over time, they really start to not work, or they don't, or things things don't. Um, they just doesn't. It's not karmic. And so in that relationship, there has been. I love what was shared about having to be in the moment to moment and each thing at a time. There was a long friend of an older kind sage soul, told her lady, she had been married to her husband for like 30 years at the time, which seemed like a really long time to me. 30 or 40, and now, geez, I'm, now I've been married for 20 years. And it's, and, and she said, honey, just remember, it's one day at a time, the marriage, just one day. Because this is when I was starting to get married, I said, like, oh my God, I'm getting married. <laughs> and, and, and she says, just one day at a time. And, um, and I thought, okay. And I didn't know, I don't know if a marriage, and I don't know if a marriage is karmically meant to last or not, but because the real relationship, truth be told, and the real relationship is not the marriage, it's not the co-workers, it's not even the parents, it's not even the guru bhais. The real relationship is the relationship, of course, inside with the divine. A relationship of having a relationship with oneself, being comfortable, learning to be a friend to myself, learning to be a parent. And that means being a parent to myself means also being firm at times. Like, no, if you want to get up tomorrow to meditate, you got to get to bed. You know, or if you're going to do this and that, there are 
there are things, but learning and learning also, though, to allow, at least in my experience, the divine to flow through, to make room. Yogananda, when I first went to Lake Shrine years ago, or uh, one of his the temples, the shrines in Malibu, um, I used to go to Lake Shrine to meditate, or just, I, which if you could call it meditating, it was just walking around the lake and sitting here and there and trying to be mindful. Um, I didn't know about Yogananda, but I felt the kindness in the vibration around the lake. And, and then when I went in the gift shop and the boutique, and there were some old photos there of Yogananda. And at first I had to go, okay, it's a man or a woman. I had to kind of zero in. And I realized it didn't matter. But I guess, okay, it was a man. But, but what I, I, I knew that this person was real, like what was shared just before. I felt the sincerity, the kindness. In fact, I felt I couldn't, it was almost hard to take in someone so soft and kind, the loving energy and strength at the same time. But, but it was the Divine Mother's loving energy that really touched me and I felt this is real. I didn't become a devotee until years later. I didn't have any plan to. I didn't even know what a guru was. Or under, I didn't really understand it. I had a superficial understanding. And so, learning, there's an idea sometimes in spiritual communities, and I've had this myself. This is my own, you could say, just learning experience. That if you're in a spiritual community, <coughs> You're, it's harmonious and there's a doubt, there's always an emphasis on being kind and loving and peaceful that you're never going to have confrontations or disagree or things are going to come up or get angry. And, and what I've found is that more lately too, and this, and this is one thing I'm extremely grateful with Willie, my spouse, is that I can share I'm angry and not pretend and vice versa but then we don't stay stuck on it. It's like, okay, I admit it. I'm not going to pretend I'm not. going to pretend I'm not something I'm not, because that's called repression, and repression is not dharmic. It's not truthful. And, and, but then it's like, we come back to a loving understanding. Like, what is it you're trying to say? What is it you need? What is it I'm trying? Sometimes we agree, and sometimes we flat out don't. There's, there's been a thing late, uh, a recent thing that, this is not something I planned, um, but we have very different political ideas in some areas. And, and that has been an interesting layer of to, and we had a, there was getting a little bit of some uh, gamesmanship and, and, and trying, who is right, you know, there's saying you can be comfortable or you can be right. And, and I, um, we finally had to agree to disagree and just not talk about it as much as possible. And just say, you go and do your thing and I'll do my thing. And we're in this together so we love each other. And um, honey, I disagree, but I'll, you know, and I'm not always so, so sweet sounding, by the way. So, <laughs> and neither is it, so because I'm, I'm, I, well, anyway. <laughs> I have bleeding heart liberal parents. My dad passed away, so. But, but that's okay. It's a, um, but the real connection, what I found is that, and what is, I understand on this path and elsewhere is that the real relationship has to come with our, the higher self, with the divine. It's in, within ourselves. And it, no amount of kind people are gonna take the place of that. No relationship is going to take the place of that. No, as, as we shared, no car, no book is going to take the place of that. And, and to be able to n trust that I'm not really running this here, that there is a, a deeper, deeper light that's guiding and love. And in that way, I honestly feel that that is how you could actually be in a relationship. Because it's, then it's not, it's not something I have to have. But it's a wonderful blessing that we're there. 
And um, there, let me just check the watch here. And there was a recent situation I want to tell back with the dip conflict because in the spiritual realm, I had the, the mistaken idea or community that we never get angry, never have disagreement, you know, we get along or, or somehow, and, and what I heard an early talk from Swami Kriyananda not that long ago, and he said, talking about, it's important to be who you are as well. That yes, we're reaching for a dharmic thing, but we can't, like, there's not going to do any good to repress. So to say if we're angry and to say, I'm not angry, I'm a devotee, and I'm therefore I'm not really angry, it's not going to help. It's just going to come out like an upset stomach or a repression or something else. And so it don't, so it's like, no, admit it. But then to say, I recognize I'm angry, but what do I want to do about it? I don't want to, do I, and, and then, there's that thing. There's a fork in the road, and it's like that being present. Do I want to stay angry? Does it feel good to stay angry? And come up with all the reasons? And Or there's that thing of just pausing and breathing. <laughs> breathing is good. And, and tapping in what is really important. And this is where um, as suggestions of things that really help is my, from my experience, at least, don't do it alone. <laughs> Get loving support. And whether it's Ananda or whether it's somewhere else, it's, there is loving support. And there are people that are, have those qualities. And, it's, and what has touched me the most and, and inspires me still the most about, frankly, Yogananda, and I was blessed to meet Swami Kriyananda, and so many of the people in the community, including people in Los Angeles, is it's even more than the joy, is the love of people. It's the love and the caring. That really, really is what makes, brings me and gives me the strength. And, and, and so if you want to be loving, like they say, if you're an artist, you go into like an artist colony. Or if you're a musician, you find a band to play with. If you want to learn how to be more loving and kind, be around people that are kind. And be around people that exemplify that. And I can say that, you know, when there's times when I'm not feeling loving, like maybe there's a situation where I'm cranky or I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to make a snap judgment, and it happens. And, and, or I'm on the road and I'm getting impatient. I did by speaking of Mr. Rogers, a friend of mine gave me a little Mr. Rogers toy that you can, you put in the car and he, and he says things, he pushes it like, I like you just the way you are. <laughs> you are, there's nobody in the world just like you. And, and it's very sweet. And I can, like when I'm getting annoyed at some of my adult egos getting mad because someone's cutting me off on the road in Koreatown, then I can, I can see that and, then I can pause that and remember, is that really what I want? Is, do I really need to get caught up in that? And then to just to remember to slow down and tap in. No, it doesn't feel good like that. It feels better to be loving. It feels better to be patient. It feels better to me. Um, and But that when I have those, I'll also reflect, like how would this person, how would Narayan, or how would um, Gyande, or how would so and so, how would they handle this situation? Because like, I've seen the people, how they handle it. And I'll, I'll just say there was a recent thing where I was really angry <laughs> at, at, about something. And I, was, I, was, I hadn't been that angry in a long time. And there was a thing with someone in the community. And I, I called uh, one of our members, who's a, a light bearer, he happened to be there, who recently moved from Palo Alto. And I, I had just, I vented, and, and I, and I, and you know, he was so calm and loving, and, and he even chuckled, says, oh, well, maybe this is meant to come up right now, this thing for you, you guys, and, and he was able to say, but is this how you really, do you want to stay angry like this right now, or do you want to be, get more centered here so we can talk like you've been before, and, and just within a few minutes was able to get, start to get aligned again. 
And then there's another thing as far as tools for, it's okay to say, you know, honey, I'm sorry. I called him actually, this um, good soul, and I said, I'm sorry I had to vent at you that it came out that way. He didn't ask for that, and he, he really appreciated it, he accepted it. But also in with others, of course we're gonna make mistakes. It's, it's uh, I remember Giante would say, or one of our great teacher, uh, the leading teacher training supervisor at, at Nanda Village, he says, it's not about if we're gonna make, if we're gonna make mistakes, it's a question of when and how we're going to handle it when it comes up. And, uh, and in a healthy spiritual environment, there's more bounce room to make mistakes. So uh, let's sit upright just for a moment and just close the meditation briefly. Try to visualize that the heart light emerald green, the heart chakra, expanding within you, sense of kindness, love in the heart. Let's visualize her in the beautiful meadow or garden where you can feel very safe, very nurtured. The beautiful flowers growing. Ascend again. That feeling of kindness, of love to all beings. And then draw that inwards and upwards. To the spiritual eye. Perhaps visualize a beautiful, loving soul. Maybe a grandmother, maybe a saint. Someone who really cares about you. Knowing that God's love is within each of our own hearts. To be unworthy of love, which is so vast, is an impossibility. Feel from the spiritual eye of the crown being showered with the great spiritual masters, infinite blessings, perhaps a great master touching you on the brow. You have no idea how much I love you. And on this, right before he left the body, a direct disciple asked him there a few days before, fairly soon before, what would the direct disciple say, what will we do without you? Paramhansa Yogananda said, when I am gone, only love can take my place. Be absorbed night and day in the love of God. And give that love to all.